Hi, I'm Joni Marks, a three-time international best-selling author and the creator of three online courses for Udemy.com. And today is the sixth of the seven-part series on the seven myths of love and happiness for the 60 and me readers. So this is the myth of physical beauty. Now, we all know the phrase, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. That's because there is no universal standard for what beauty is. Yet, all the times we turn on the television and we see the ads and the movies and the TV shows, they always show young, beautiful people, which reinforces the narrative that true love, success, and happiness requires youthful physical beauty. Tell me, when's the last time you saw smiling 90-year-olds behind the wheel of a Ferrari ad? <laughs> so in this video on the myth of physical beauty, we are going to see how the myth creates stories that are fantasy at best and emotionally destructive at worst. The myth of physical beauty is the money maker of all the seven myths of love and happiness. This myth is akin to a magical potion that can be applied to anything external and in doing so amplifies the power of its illusionary value. The premise is that if something is made to look sexy and beautiful on the surface, it will be accepted at face value as being a better choice than anything else in comparison. Deceptively alluring, this myth works in concert with the myth of aging and telling the same toxic story. The narrative of this story says to be loved, admired, and desired, you must be perceived by others as both youthful in appearance and physically beautiful. This makes the myth of physical beauty highly effective at keeping you separated from your true self and therefore disconnected from true love. From the outward appearance of young and attractive public personalities to the sleek and sexy appearance of products, society is generationally educated and conditioned to see beauty based on external packaging. Not surprisingly, youth is a predominant frame that the ideal picture of love and happiness is placed in. To change this, we must reframe our perception of physical beauty from the inside out. In the next three slides, we're going to explore the most damaging effect of the myth of physical beauty. There is nothing wrong with desiring to be perceived as youthful and physically beautiful by others. Where things can become murky for women over 60 is unknowingly basing your sense of beauty and worthiness on what others see as beautiful or not. The real damage of the myth of physical beauty is how it distracts from your inner beauty and detaches you from your inner authentic self. Without a set of daily practices of self-love and self-care, this myth leaves you emotionally well being highly susceptible to other people's opinions of what constitutes physical beauty. While we all can agree that there is beauty in youth, beauty is equally abundant in all stages of aging. To see this, we must be willing to behold beauty in new ways and from different vantage points. Now that you are more aware 
of the negative effect of this myth of physical beauty, we are going to look at five simple and effective ways that you can perceive and learn to understand the inner beauty that you have. To rewrite the story of physical beauty for yourself and behold your own beauty without outside influences, you must first be aware of how the myth of physical beauty is used in society. Now that you are more aware of this myth, the next step involves daily activities to acknowledge and celebrate your own physical beauty. Here are five simple yet profoundly effective ways to reclaim your power to perceive yourself as the beautiful, radiant woman you are. One, journal a new story about physical beauty. Two, listen to a new voice within you. Three, speak to yourself differently. Four, Love on yourself daily. And five, self-care routine for your body. To receive additional insights on each of these, be sure to read my article on the myth of physical beauty for 60 and me readers. In the final two slides, I'm going to guide you through three inspiring journal prompts and 10 empowering affirmations to override the myth of physical beauty. And please say these affirmations out loud. It's a fabulous opportunity to really listen to yourselves. And the more often you repeat these affirmations, the stronger the connection will be made between your everyday conscious life and the supportive voice of your true authentic self. Create some time after this video to journal your answers to the following questions. One, what part of your physical body does your inner critic harshly judge? Two, what part of your physical body do you praise and feel good about? And three, make a list of all the ways you can begin loving the parts of you that you don't find beautiful. When you perceive any part of yourself is not being physically beautiful, reconnect with your true self by saying the following, my body is a beautiful temple. I am perfect just as I am. I am physically beautiful. I am sexual and attractive. I am joyful in my own skin. I am healthy and abundant. I love and enjoy my beautiful body. I am always connected to true love. And my body is a conduit for my creative power. And I experience physical pleasure without guilt. Thank you so much for watching this video and reading the article on the myth of physical beauty. For more information, please go to Finding True Love, the online course on udemy.com. And the next time we're going to do the final myth, which is the myth of shame and blame, which controls and holds all those other six myths in place. And until then, remember, look into your mirror and smile at yourself and say, I am my own best friend, for I came into this world to be myself. For that I came. Thank you and all my best.